What's up guys, I'm BTC. It's been a little while since I had some Valorant news for you, but we got some pretty big stuff today. A new character was leaked and beta signups have begun. First I want to cover the new character leak because there's not a whole lot to go over, so I'm just going to quickly run through it. First, the character is supposed to look like this on screen, and the name of the character is Breach. He has a couple of abilities that are essentially crowd control type stuff. So the first is called the Flashpoint, which is essentially a flashbang similar to what you would see in CSGO, and also a little similar to what Phoenix has. His other ability is called Fault Line, and this is essentially a stun grenade, where he'll kind of launch this thing out and what it does is it doesn't prevent the enemy from being able to act or from to move like you would see in overwatch like it doesn't lock you in place instead what it does is it's more of a realistic kind of stun where the character starts swaying a little bit to the side and it just makes your aim more difficult so it doesn't completely lock you out from being able to do stuff it just makes doing stuff more difficult and then he also has an ultimate called Rolling Thunder, and there's not a whole lot of information on this, but the playtesters have basically said that this is unbelievably powerful and it does massive amounts of, amounts of damage to everything in the area. But let's move on to the closed beta because I'm sure that's what everyone is interested in. As you can see, it starts April 7th, which is just over a week away. This isn't going to be as simple as signing up on their website. You have to do a bunch of other stuff if you're familiar with how Overwatch does their drops for the seasonal events, it's going to be similar to that. So there are only a couple places where this is going to be available. It's not available in the entire world. So you've got Europe, Canada, United States, Turkey, Russia, and some CIS countries. So those are the places where you can get the beta. If you live somewhere else, unfortunately, it's not going to be available just yet. Perhaps at some later point in time, they might be available, but for right now, those are the only things that are available. Again. The closed beta will begin on April 7th, and here is how you actually get access. So first, you need to have a Riot account, which is really simple. It took me, like, less than a minute to make. Then you need to link it to your Twitch account, which, again, really simple. took less than a minute. And again, this is similar to how you would connect your Overwatch account to Twitch in order to get those extra drops during the seasonal events. But then the third part of this closed beta access is you have to watch the highlighted Valorant closed beta streams on Twitch. So just like how you'd have to watch streams on Twitch in order to get those Overwatch unlocks, this is what you have to do to unlock beta access. You have to watch those streams. Now, it doesn't say anything about how long or how frequently you need to watch these. My best suggestion would be as soon as one of them opens, just open that browser and leave it open if you can in order to increase your chances. I don't know if these keys are gonna go out based on whoever was watching the longest or if it's first come ser first serve or if it's just random. They don't tell us any of that information. It's just you have to connect your Twitch account, you have to watch these streams, and when it's available in your area, they're going to start activating different accounts. And they're going to start with a small number and then it's going to increase over time as they're continuing to try to stress test the service and that sort of stuff. So uh, the next one is, it says, uh, you know, will closed beta be available in a region? Again, it's just Canada, United States, Russia, Turkey, Europe. Those are the places where it's going to be available. And the next one is, what about the progress that you make? So beta progress will not carry over into the regular game. And the beta will last until summer 2020. They haven't given any specific date on when it's going to end, but they, they want to have a launch date in the summer. So obviously it's going to end a little bit before that. And then what happens to the Valorant points that you purchase during the closed beta? Because you're going to be able to have, you know, the in-game microtransactions. It's a free-to-play game, right? So they have that sort of stuff. And if you buy any of the, the points, the, the credit system in-game during the beta, then you get an extra 20% bonus when the live game rolls around. So it's not like you're just spending money that disappears when the beta goes away. You get to keep all of that stuff that's the only thing that will carry over is the credits like all of the other stuff the skins and progress that sort of stuff won't carry over but your valorant points will carry over and they're giving you a 20 percent bonus with whatever so if you buy stuff during the beta then you get more when the live game comes out and you can just rebuy whatever stuff that you had gotten during the beta so that's how the beta is going to work again you need to make your right account you need to link it to twitch 
and then you're gonna have to watch those live streams. I know some people are not gonna be exactly happy with this because just judging by how people don't particularly like how this works for Overwatch, but you have to keep in mind that they're trying to drive up interest in the game and if they can get lots and lots and lots of people to watch these early closed beta streams then it's going to generate a lot of excitement a lot of hype and obviously these channels are going to be promoted on twitch and that sort of stuff so it's just a way for them to drive interest in the new game and this is how it's going to be you know unfortunately if you don't have a twitch account or any of that stuff you're going to have to sign up but, like I said, probably the best bet is, as soon as this stuff starts, just open the browsers and just leave that open as long as you can. Even if you have to mute it or something, just leave the browser open so it increases your chances. But, there you go, guys. That is the Valorant Close Beta info. Good luck to everyone in getting your key. Thanks for watching, and if you'd like to see more, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell to get notified. You can get some cool gear, join my Discord server, or follow me on social media with the links down in the description below. Special thanks to my Patreon supporters, and remember, always, always blame the controller, because it's never your fault.